Hi, I'm Joshua. Today we will talk about churn analysis. First, let's define what is customer churn. Customer churn is one of the most important metrics for a growing business to evaluate. Basically, customer churn is the rate at which customers leave your company. This could be for a variety of reasons, such as switching to a competitor, canceling their subscription due to poor customer service or stopping all contact with a brand because of too few touch points. Customer churn analysis is important for obvious reasons like lost customers mean a direct loss of revenue. And you might think that you can just make up for lost customers by appealing to new ones but gaining a new customer can be anywhere from 5 to 25 times more expensive than keeping an existing customer. Customers remain an indispensable part of any organization, and the loss of a customer can have an adverse effect on the growth of the company. For any company to enhance their clientele in the telecom industry, organizations should devise an effective strategy to curtail their prevailing churn rates. So most of the telecom companies have started adopting customer churn analysis solution to improve the retention rate of profitable customers. To effectively retain customers, leading service providers in the telecom industry have started analyzing the customer lifetime value to measure acquisition costs, revenue, customer service, and returns. In addition, businesses can further leverage the use of customer churn analysis to measure the relationship of subscribers at every stage with their operators. There are three steps in doing churn analysis. The first step will be leveraging subscription analytics. Subscription analytics tools allow you to keep track of all metrics at a single glance. Now that you have all your data and metrics in a single place, you can modify the data to extract meaningful actionable insights as you see fit. The second step will be customer segmentation analysis. Customer segmentation is defined as the process of grouping your customers exhibiting similar traits. This can help you discover important trends in customer churn. Pick a tool that allows you to analyze customer churn in segments, that can be configured based on various relevant metrics. These metrics could be revenue, business type, or demographics. The last step will be determining the reasons behind churn. You can deploy strategies to curb customer churn only after you've understood the reasons causing it in the first place. Two types of churn are taken into account for this purpose. The types of churn are early versus late stage churn and involuntary versus voluntary churn. So I have a sample data about customer churn and I will build a report using Power BI. I already transformed my data so we're good to go. So for the first page of my report, I focus on the customer information and the services available in the data. I also put the total charges and monthly charges. So for the second page, I put all the data that might impact customer churn like VIP customer, payment mode, payment method and total services. After doing my report I will publish it in my workspace in the Power BI service. There you go I already publish it. So based on my analysis the most indicator of churn will be on the VIP customer. As you can see when I click the yes button on the slicer, you will notice that the number of customer that will most likely to churn on the VIP customer section is 1869. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed my video. Thank you.